Hey, what's going on YouTube? So I just want to make a quick video showing you guys how to upgrade the RAM and the GPU on the HP N54L micro server. Why you would want to upgrade the RAM on this system is pretty obvious. Um, it's a very um, swift system actually to have such inexpensive and uh, lightweight hardware inside. But it only comes with a crippling 2 gigabytes of RAM. Um, so the reason you want to upgrade the RAM in any system really is just to run more operations and to have those operations run more smoothly. Um, so of course we're going to upgrade the RAM in this system, um, which I've actually already done, but I'll show you why I'm changing it again. And the reason that I that I would want to upgrade the GPU on this system is, as I said in my uh, XBMC video, I actually run my 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 uh, N54L as an HTPC and a server simultaneously. The reason I run it as an HTPC, the hardware inside is actually very is is very swift yet power efficient. On idle, the server runs around 20 to 25 watts, which um, is very energy efficient, so it's, it's great on your power bill. Yet it can do everything and perform in the, in the server role and the HTPC role simultaneously without any hiccups. So you can play 3D content, you can play 1080p Blu-ray content, and you, can all, and you can do so in a very energy efficient manner. Um, the card that I picked up is actually the XFX 5450. Um, you can install the 6450 and I believe it goes up until the 7450s that you can install before the power supply kind of, uh, I guess, craps out um, because you do have to have enough power to feed the entire system, of course, to upgrade the GPU, if that makes sense. So as I said, I've actually already upgraded the, the RAM in my system. The reason I'm changing it, though, is because initially I went with 16 gigabytes of of non-ECC RAM. It's suggested that you go with ECC RAM on your server, but I was a bit antsy and I couldn't find ECC RAM for a good price. So I just, in the interim, purchased um, 16 gigabytes of uh, Crucial. I, I can't remember the, the exact one off offhand, but 16 gigabytes of Crucial um, non-ECC RAM. However, I have come to my senses, and if you're running a server that's performing critical operations, and critical is subjective as always, so I'm just loosening the screws here. Critical is subjective. Um, then you'll definitely want ECC RAM, which is error correcting RAM, in your server, as it will uh, prevent and correct errors. So I'm just swapping in that eight gigabytes of. Uh, Got some uh, Kingston, eight gigabytes of Kingston RAM to put into the system today. As I said, I also upgraded the GPU. The GPU is actually already installed, but I'll just show you guys how to how to get that in there as well. That looks not quite loose. So as you can see, there's only two screws holding the motherboard in place. That one there, and that one there. I have a rather large finger, so this one's a bit of a bear to get to. Okay. You also want to loosen these clamps. I don't know if I can do this with one hand. Let's see, so that one, you just flick up. Get the wires out of the way. So then you got the wires out of the way. And now you're ready to just slide the tray out. That took what? 30 seconds. So, of course, you have all of your bags for your drives right here. These just pop right out. You just click the button. And you can slide out your hard drive. So, now that we got the bay out, so you also want to be sure, which I didn't check, so it's my fault. I generally want to loosen this portion right here as well. 
because you'll have your GPU in there. So you want to make sure you just loosen this up and, and this part up as well, so it doesn't um, destroy your your graphics card. Oops. So what not to do? So now that you got the tray out, so just unplug. And they're all color coded nowadays. It's gotten a lot easier to build a computer, so you'll know where to put things back to. So if it ever feels like any part of it is stuck, just kind of wiggle it out, just kind of work it out. So there we are. We have all cables unplugged. Should be pretty obvious where they go when you turn it in there. And I actually don't like putting my tray on the counter or on motherboards on the counter, but this one, I'll set it up right because it, it's, it's metal on the bottom, so not much is exposed anyway. So your morning pancake syrup, it'll just get stuck to the tray itself. So there you have it. It's out of there. Just put it here for a minute. So that's it. You have your tray right here. Here's the GPU. Actually, I'm not gonna uninstall it. So now, um, so this is a normal bracket that goes into like a normal desktop computer. You have a slot for HDMI, uh, DVI, and VGA. So in the micro server, you'll need a low profile bracket. The XFX 5450 that I had, I just made sure that it came with a low profile bracket. Basically, all you do is There'll be a few, there'll be, there's a main screw on there that's actually taken off. So, there's a main screw. You just unscrew it when it's connected. And it'll come loose. And you'll also have to unscrew these little screws right here um, on each side of the DVI. I'm not sure why you can see that. And the bracket will will come right off. It's really quick and really easy. So just remember to remove all screws. Just remember to remove all screws from the installed bracket. And this really pretty much goes for any graphics card that you need to change the uh, bracket on. Remove all the screws that are pertinent. This one isn't really pertinent because I'm not using VGA. And um, that'll do it. Then you just pop the new one on there. Screw it in where applicable. And and just pop it into the thing, into place. As far as the RAM, so we have we have two slots of RAM on the motherboard here. As I said, so this is the non-ECC RAM. Get that out of there. And, uh, okay. So the initial kit that I purchased was 16 gigabytes of what you see there. And I'm actually, and I actually didn't just purchase it arbitrarily. I did my research, and it, I, it was shown to perform well in the system, and it did. It's just plug and play. You pop it right in, and it, it starts right up. But um, I'm kind of paranoid about my system, so I'm gonna put that ECC in there. Just take that out. Take that out. Just put each down. Make sure it lines up properly. And then just snap it into place. Should be a second down.
and you snap it into place. And I'll honestly take about two minutes to do. So put that away. So now you have your RAM installed, you have your GPU installed, and you should be good to go. Um, of course, you have an extra PCIe slot here in case you want to install like another wireless card, um, a sound card, anything else you want to put in there. Which you can also do it while you have the tray out. And then you just take the time to put the tray right back in there. Move all of your wires out of the way. Uh, yeah, so you want to connect. Let's see. You definitely want to reconnect some of your bigger cables first. Put that one in there. Okay. Let's go to forward. Reconnect power. Next. your fan back on there. And your USB devices. So, got your front LEDs. Double check everything, make sure it's all plugged back in, and then just slide it back in place, and you're good to go. Everything is back to almost factory conditions. Just snap that, and you shut the door. It's secure. If it won't close, then of course check your wires to see if they're pinching anywhere. There we go. Now it's closed. And don't forget to screw this back in. Just re-secure this one, and that should be all set. Then you just go plug your server back in, and you're you're back in business. There's actually there's absolutely nothing that you'll need to do to actually set up the GPU or the RAM. Of course, um, depending upon your display, you will want to customize um, the overscan and the scaling. So that's pretty much it, guys. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Um, any feedback? Anything I can do better? Definitely let me know. All right. Later.